Got to have a lot of respect for Dave, but if uh, if Joshua was a groundhog, he'd be my favorite groundhog. You would be my but favorite it, groundhog. Well, thank you. you should I appreciate do it, that. do it better as a human, though. In an alternate <laughs> universe, I suppose. But, and by the way, we have Staten Island Chuck. We have a, a groundhog named Gertie. There's Senator... Gertie uh, Chuck. Yeah, there's Beauregard Lee. My favorite, <laughs> Chuckles, out of Manchester, Connecticut. That makes Chuckles, sense. The, the you do you know all of them. Do you consult with them all? On there are stand? 72 of them. They all have something to say. So um, you start a group chat. We like. start a group chat. <laughs> we all Insta as well. Yes, but you know, hey, we'll take an early spring and yeah, we'll get we get it. The question is, if Punxsutawney Phil did not see his shadow, and he's forecasting an early spring, how accurate is that? Well, 108 times, the groundhog Punxsutawney Phil uh, has uh, saw its shadow, and that of course would mean six more weeks of winter. 20 times it's happened that he did not see his shadow going back to 1887. So uh, this is one of just a few. Let's hope that uh, he's lucky here. Uh, and like I said, this is all part of a, uh, uh, if you follow my Twitter, uh, a holiday in the Roman Catholic calendar called Candlemas Day. If Candlemas Day be fair and bright, winter has another fight. If Candlemas Day uh, be gray, uh, then spring is, uh, is early, something like that. And anyways, 37, the temperature is the uh, high for Buffalo today, 39 in Dunkirk for, uh, for Dave. Stubborn clouds, the story going into tonight. Finally, finally, even more important than what the groundhog said, we've got a little sun in the forecast. It's been so gloomy as of late. And now we can finally look at Old Soul and uh, maybe put some sunglasses on. Sunday will likely be the brighter of the two weekend days. And you know, we need this in a big way. January sky cover, check it out. We had like only like one day that was partly cloudy. So we have been mired in muck. Finally, our hour by hour forecast shows partial sunshine at least for your Saturday with temperatures into the mid 30s. That's easy to take. That's a bargain given the fact that we're entering in climatologically what is the coldest time of year. And I want you to look at the European computer model here because there's barely a speck of precipitation coming up in the next several days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is probably the next chance that we could see even just some scattered showers. 35 is the temperature right now in Buffalo with that solid overcast that we've kind of become accustomed to in a way. 10 miles visibility in Buffalo, but we do have a little bit of light snow falling in Bradford, PA, according to the observations. Although I don't know if I buy that. I think it's probably more like a little bit of fog. Sometimes those sensors get a little mixed up. As far as Super Doppler and satellite are concerned, again, a lot of low clouds. But back to the north and west, there is some nice drying, and that is the trend that is our friend. Northeasterly winds will blow on Saturday. I think the best chance for seeing some sun will likely be later into the afternoon. And again, temperatures will be easy to take. So the call for tonight, a mostly cloudy sky. It's chilly. The overnight low at 28. Tomorrow, we'll look for clouds to break. We'll find some sunshine. Your top 10, 37. And again, that is probably the nicest seven-day forecast that we have talked about for probably a good month. I'm looking forward to Tuesday there. Lots of sunshine near 40. And I bet Leah is looking forward mm -hmm. to Thursday. Well, yeah. 50 I mean, degrees. I'm, I'm, I mean, right now I'm looking forward to the weekend. <laughs> but, <sure. laughs> yes. but that's a that's a good looking forecast for early Friday. I, I think really you were is. so the gray on the way, spring on the way. Yeah, right? spring, yeah, something that's like that. Yeah. You, know, you just kind of rhyme. You got to rhyme the words. I'm just back from vacation. Okay. Yeah, one of It's not back. working. Not, not, not quite working yet. yet. Okay. We'll get the cogwheels <laughs> okay. in order. It was great, Josh. And the forecast yes. looked wonderful. It does look yeah. Thank, Thank you so much.